almost forgot we were going. We were supposed to go live. Here's the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 420 gang. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Don't <laughs> start rumors. <laughs> uh, don't spread rumors. <laughs> At least give us a courtesy that you will be sp spreading rumors about us. Maybe we might help you along in that. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone's doing well. And they're they're all stacking in, in chat like cords of wood over here. Uh, we got Arthur. Shannon Smith, God, you're in every stream, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, Janine Drill, good evening. Big Red, hey, my brother from from up north. Uh, Nicolette's, Nicolettes, Nicolette's hobbies. Uh, Raymond Flowers, good evening. Amy Maud, uh, Eric, in there. I have to get used to the EMR coins because that's his other alias uh raymond again and eric again amy oh wendy raheem good evening and anthony always in the house good to see you man jason johnson can we make jason johnson a mod already for crying out loud yeah yeah why not right he's good mm -hmm. people play a plus he's all all over our facebook page so there you go. uh yeah there he is. there's dodger how you doing man joey k scott Holiday. the seasoned veteran michael kittle in the house go ahead and check out michael kittle's wares on his show shop did you see his new coin he set up today oh my god they're a thing of beauty Holy i tell you what my, michael's good <laughs> at at uh finding some good eye appeal Holy cow. All right, my, my volume was tripping out. Uh, Eric Murray, Judy Slavin, Justin Bussman, Silver Bowl 30, Jason Tremba. Now, I seriously, I'm just naming names now. Crispy Mofo. Crispy Mofo. Did you say hi to Cindy? Silver Cindy. Shadow. Yeah, exactly. What 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 does Mofo stand for? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Hey, I don't hey, know. Nice. Eunice Torres. Sorry, missed you. And of course, we have to f forget Eric, right? Eric is uh, also in the house. And Cindy. All right. Cindy, so we have a couple mods. Cindy. We have our mods with the blue wrench in chat. So make sure you guys be on your best behavior. Oh, David Music. Sorry, man. Completely, completely looked over you or overlooked you. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a total Monday for me. It is. It really is like my my Monday. brain is fried like an egg right now. Yeah. Uh, Brian Johnson, Tia Trueblood. Welcome, Danny Gregg. Mm -hmm. I think and I hope. Oh, Drickit one. That's a new one from Denver. Hi, uh, Drickit. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. All right. So we we got a nice little solid base to work off of. You know. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Happy this is our, our live stream for October freaking 18th already. We're almost uh, almost in the home stretch in October. Um, just to let you guys know, we will have a bye week next week. Am I right, Paula? Yes. I think that's I what it so. said. Yeah, so um, we will not be in attendance next Monday. And that's all right. You guys probably need a break from us too as much as we yeah, need a break yeah. from from the hobby, recharge the batteries a little bit. I heard That's Scott perfect. Stanley's giving out uh, full yeah. size candy bars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the yeah. way, if you guys haven't haven't checked, Jeff Stanley has a uh, really <laughs> riveting expose on the size of fun size candy bars. Size man. Definitely need to check check it out. It was. Yeah, I was trying to get, you know, we've, I've been having mic problems, and I'm like, I don't, I want to do a mic check, and I want to upload the video, and I want to make sure it works. What the heck am I going to talk about? I want to talk about any good coin stuff. So I looked around my desk. Ooh, I got these crappy candy bars here I'm going to complain about. They're not fun size. Because, you know, I'm, I'm finding that ranting sells. <laughs> 
Well, uh, I, iron, you ironically, you could have called you could have called your uh, uh, your video Mike and Ike's because you have Mike problems and Mike and Ike is a candy. Anyways, candy. enough about that. <laughs> So, Sean, I, I heard a rumor today. Oh, yeah? Do yeah. tell. I heard that the Morgan dollars are processing. They are processing. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, we don't know if these things are going to be shipping here in the next few days or next few weeks. But uh, based off of the, the early, I guess, U.S. Mint estimates for shipment, you know, end of October into November is what I thought, you know, would be the um, the target date for shipment of these. And sure enough, on my U.S. Mint profile page, it's showing uh, my peace dollars. I bought a couple of those and the CC and O Morgans. I did not buy any D's or S's, but they were all showing as being processed or processing. So, you know. I don't know. We we might be um, pretty close to these things shipping. So make sure you got some cash in your bank account if you guys are uh, living on um, meager monies. Yeah, only my DNS are processing right now. Oh, uh, Michael Kittle said credit card charge for my DNS mid Morgan today. Yeah. So there you go. Case by case basis, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. So, yeah, so Here's, it's going to be, go ahead, Jeff. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's going to be different for everyone, I, I guess, as they go and process the orders. I, I don't know if it's in order from when they came in. Um, yeah, I don't know how they do it, but one guy will get charged today. Another guy will get charged a week from now. So it's anybody's guess, I guess. I don't know, man, but mine are for sale. <laughs> yeah, Paula is treating the, these coins like a virtual hot potato. So I am peddling them all over the place. Six coins yeah, set no kidding. for sale. <laughs> First 1,400 can have them. <laughs> Just saying. I, I have some Christmas. fun. That's my Christmas fun, man. I have tons. I have grandchildren popping out all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll you, need those. You, you need the money for sure. I need the money. Kids are expensive. Boy, howdy! Well, this year they're not getting anything spectacular. We're going very minimalistic this year. So hey, not bad. Yeah, it's all about Elon Musk is going minimalistic this year. So why am I can't the kids? This year. Huh? Elon Musk is going uh, minimalistic, so why can't the kids? Are you serious? Well, the, his, the, his idea of minimalistic and my idea of minimalistic are two totally different things. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> they are completely two different things. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I hope yeah. everyone's having a pleasant evening. Uh, we do have a number of coins to talk about. We do have a uh, another giveaway that we're going to give away at the end of the giveaway section of the video or our live stream, which is usually at the end. Um, so as usual, we got magnifiers, 7, 7X. If you don't have these, um, we still got a couple copies of the Strike It Rich with Pocket Change book. So that also have another Dance Co. album. Well, actually, it's the same one from last time. Walking oh, Liberties wow. short set. And, of course, we got the Whitman quarter starter box. So we got a few things to uh, to give away. Or hey, Sean. Can I give away one of these tonight, too? Absolutely. Will you Do you want to let everyone know what you got there? It's a magnifier, lighted magnifier. It's excellent, for especially for varieties. Here's mine. It's like for, a, for a second, a, I thought it was a little vaping, vaping device. <laughs> <laughs> but I, got, I ordered four of them, so I'm going to give away two of them. Oh, very cool. So, uh, yeah, that is another option. And, and what's the magnification power on that? Um, it is 30 30X. times, 60 times, or 90 times. Yeah. Whoa, what, is it a triplet? Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's got a little, and it's got a little UV uh, indicator on it, like you could do like UV, uh, like it's got a little special little light that you could do purple. See, so it helps you see the rides a little bit easier and stuff. It's pretty cool. Does it scans also modern current scan scans modern currency? Yeah. For does it also have like a blood tracker and all that great stuff too? <laughs> yeah. I got one. That's so very, very useful. Jeff, did you buy one? Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, they're going yeah. quick. I was hey, looking hey, at the Paula, um, Dad learning coins in chat is asking, how can we get one of those hats? Do we still we have We're out anymore? of hats. But we're selling the t shirts. They're embroidered. We're out of hats. Um, we'll be doing a, we'll be doing a second run of hats. They'll be a little bit different than these um, after all of the shirts are sold. And, so and like, two years from now. <laughs> and we even have them in fun size. And we have long sleeves <laughs> and short sleeves on the shirts. What's the fun, What's the fun size shirts there, Jeff? Is it the uh, the the crop top version? <laughs> no, that would be the fun size, right? The the, the crop crop top. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, the the button up. Or I, I was thinking or, of like the midriff or whatever. The the men's midriff shirts from the seventies uh, that you would wear with the short shorts and the uh, socks that went up to the knees with the stripes. Yeah, that. <laughs> no, well, we don't have we, those. Oh, yeah, no, one thing to say about that. Time. Peace, bro. Yeah. yeah, medium, <laughs> large, extra large, two XL. I think that. I think that's all. Do you Do you have extra small? No. We don't have extra small. Yeah. We don't have extra small, but we have what four T toddler size. No. Oh, blinky, blinky. Woo. Okay. Um, oh, I had some. I had some uh, fun news. Yeah, fire away. Uh, if y'all remember, I'll switch over. If y'all remember my uh, two coin proof set from uh, last week where I wound up with uh, two type ones, its match has reared its ugly head. Somebody uh, posted in one of the Facebook groups, they have two of the type of uh, the type twos. How funny. It was bound That's to really happen. Funny. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, we were, he, he asked me if I wanted to, uh, we were just kind of chatting back and forth. He asked me if I, we, we wanted to trade right. up and switch. And mine is going back to the men. Right well, now. one of yours is crappy anyway, right? Yeah, one of the coins is crappy anyways. He wouldn't want yeah. that. He would have gotten the crappy one. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was a, you know, fun little uh, continuance to uh, my little story here. That's so fun. Mark Coins, um, all of the links to the, all the panel members are in the description below the video. That's so cool, Jeff. <laughs> um, I sent mine to Ian, one of mine to Ian Russell. I'm going to have him grade it and sell it for me. And then... I'm keeping one of mine. Nice. I figure I get more money, you know, let them grade it, sell it. If it gets a 70, then it'll probably sell for some decent money. So. Yeah, James Eubanks, cuds are hot right now, just not 1942s. No. <laughs> I haven't. Have we seen his cud? I don't know. Have we seen your cud? Have you submitted it to us? Are you selling it for too much money? Are you asking too much money? Are you charging shipping? <laughs> is the coin in good condition or? <laughs> or is it scrubbed with a Brillo pad? I, Ooh, I like what I do with my coins. I had one of that 34D I found the other day. Boy, it was really harshly cleaned. Keep pushing. Yeah, you can't you can't reverse this stuff, guys. If you're gonna sit there and polish the bejesus out of a coin, keep in mind you, you can't reverse that. 
Yeah, it, it's gone forever. I know. I yelled out at when you posted that picture, Adam. <laughs> My granddaughter was sitting right next to me. I went, oh, ouch. And she goes, Grandma, are you okay? <laughs> hey, at least the one that we're going to talk about this evening, it wasn't clean. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? It's still a nice variety. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, anyway. Well, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into right. it. Unless anyone else has anything else to say. I don't. No. All right. Said it was a pre-cud. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, pre pre pre-cuds are pre-cuds are kind of. I'm not gonna say soft or anything, but they're they're uh, they're worth quite a bit less. I remember his though. It 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 ended up being a full cut. It just. I remember. I remember it now. Yeah. I, I think uh, um, most of the uh, pre-cuts I've found in the Lincoln Wheat scent, uh, scent series have all been like 40s mm -hmm. and maybe a few 30s. Yeah, right at the uh, wheat. Stop. Yeah, and I think uh, 55S is another common date for pre-cuts. And I, there there hasn't been one that I've honestly sold for like 8 10 bucks. Um, those 55 s's though i like to find one of those ones where the head is like completely exploded and you have the you need to talk to schumar yeah. oh, he right. did a whole progression of them i'm sure he's got a butt ton of them crazy so. well you know you know what's funny adam ian russell must have got in this was like two three years ago he must have got in like a roll of them of these 55 s's that he had sent to um ngc and they all came back like 66, but they all had the retain retain cut on the reverse on the yeah. stock, and they had the exploded head on the, um, yeah. the interior die brakes. Yeah. And he was selling each one. Keep in mind, mid state 66 yeah. red in the 55S is nothing. It's like common. Yeah, that's like a 30, 25, 30 dollar point. Yeah, yeah, he was selling them for 100, 150. Yeah, oh, and they're going for like two to three now. Two to three hundred now. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean they're they're not particularly special, but he yeah, he had he had uh I think in one listing. I, I remember it too because I was actually trying to bid on one, but I only went up to like forty bucks or something like that, because that's how much I felt like it was worth. And yeah, it ended up, ended up selling for like one ten or something like that. Well, it's like you want to buy those rolls and find a whole roll of them. Talk to yeah. the whole that, that's how you do it. Yeah. Wow. It's I mean it's just like anything else in sales. I mean it is you get something that promotes it and you start to promote an interest in something yeah. like yeah. that. You know, it's like if you've got like a hot little variety or something and it's not listed in cherry pickers or something like else, the crown, start, the, the crown, uh, Washington with the crown. Yeah. You start shopping that yeah. thing around and, get, and getting some interest from some folks. Um, you, you, you can, you can kind of make your value with that thing a little bit. Um, James Eubanks. I, so my suggestion would be, and I don't know what the guy, uh, the guys feel about it would be. If it's already, if it's not listed yet on Cuts on Coins, wait until it comes up. Take a, you know, snapshot of the listing and add that to your listing, your sales listing, um, the pictures of it, and yep. put it up as a discovery piece. Yep. Or send it to Annex. And then I think they might even do a discovery piece on those. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. They they do type out discovery on there, so that's that's not a bad idea either. Um, uh, just so you know, I was at the show and I submitted some coins for Annex, and they said just this is for everybody in the chat. If you submit to Annex and Economy, they're saying it could be five to six months wow. <laughs> return on your coins. So just a heads up. Hey, Ida. That's not unusual. That's that's like PSA for card grading. There are five, six months right now. Yeah. Where they were until they caught up. It took them a year. She's like, you better send it uh, regular because they'll just put your submission to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. If if it's not if it's not the urgent stuff, yeah. they're like, yeah. you know, throw that back there. This is yeah, <laughs> yeah. I could I could see that happening. Yeah. The the um. 
Yeah, you brought up the Washington Crossing, the Delaware stupid hamburger die chip. That's yes. what I call it. Yes. Yeah, that thing is crazy. That Even and the cookies. Uh, Those are nice too. Yeah, the Tuskegee um, mm -hmm. strike throughs that look like the plane on shot, fire. Shot yeah, the, mm -hmm. uh, building. It's all crazy. Ugh, it's just crazy. And like the Monticello with the clash on the on the Jefferson Nichols. Those are. That's something crazy too. Sometimes you know, you, uh -huh. find yeah, you, you get one yeah. strong enough where you can see yeah. the, the eye right? yeah. on the bottom of the steps. Hey, Jeff, you know, you see. Yeah, that. I like that. Even though I, I have Jefferson Nichols, I like that clash with that. I have one that I just sent in to Brian. That is, uh, it's an older one. It's a 2014, and it's got the clash where you see the eyes underneath, um, and it's got a uh, a. a uh, class nine double die in the doorway. That's a oh. cool one. That's awesome. Hi, Red. That that that's actually a particularly strong one too. Last time I saw it, compared to other ones I've seen. Yeah. Okay. Y'all are starting to bore me. Can we look at some? Let's get let's get to looking at some pictures. coins. All right, we'll look at the coins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, right. every every everybody wants to put in their advance orders for hats. So. They're like a but they're like a bunch of cackling hens around here. Hi, Ida. Yeah, we're we're gonna need your uh, your hat making <laughs> expertise here momentarily. We, we're we're getting uh, we're getting orders then. Her, her handiwork is all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first coin, guys. Um, Amanda, are you gonna go your yours first? All right. Who would like to read this one first? I'll read this one first uh, from Jason Johnson, a 1952 three cent. Hey, y'all. This is my most recent pickup. Y'all know I don't know much, but I really don't know about this. Or the 1881 three cent nickel I picked up recently. I hear that they are hard to find and valuable. Thoughts, please. Thank y'all. Hi, Perry. Dodger, dodger. Yeah, while you guys are in, go ahead and hit that like button. You'll be doing us a huge favor. Look at that clash. Holy moly. You can see it from here. Yep. I like those a lot. Jason, buddy, you got to not short sell your ability to identify some pretty nice stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, go ahead. Go condition, ahead. The condition's great, too. Heck yeah. Yeah, look, look at that. It, geez, strong. D deteriorated dyes, too. Yeah. We got any Red Sox fans in the house? Can you go back to that picture before that, Amanda? I want to point that out to them real quick. See at the rim, you guys, up by the stars, those lines right there? Those are flow lines radial flow lines and that's just uh the dye is wearing out so it's dye deterioration um a lot of times on on coins you'll see see like the devices where like the the device starts to kind of smear up towards the rim and it's the same thing a lot of people think that's a double dye because it kind of stretches out the device but that's actually just a warm dye, dye wear. But those are radial flow lines. You see them a lot on Jefferson nickels and quarters and dimes. And the harder the metal, the harder it is on the dye. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you, Marcy. Marcy Rose. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. We do appreciate that. Absolutely. That helps the channel so much. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up too. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much, Marcy. That was, that was a little hippo on the office chair <laughs> or whatever that is. <laughs> Flashes are pretty common on these because the, the yes. plancha is so thin, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Those are teeny tiny. They're easy to bend too. You got to be real careful. <laughs> yes. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. I've had I've had horror stories <laughs> the, between this and the uh, the half dimes. Yep. More of those blue lines. That's really a pretty coin. I'm not even sure what is. I forgot what his question was. I don't think it's a question, more or less just validation that he does indeed have a die clash. Yes, you definitely yeah. have a die clash. A very nice one. And I haven't looked on mad die clashes to see if this is listed or not. But yeah, there's no repunch date, and that's okay. <laughs> you know, you, even though there are some that exist for this particular um, year of trying. Trying. Trime. Prime, prime time, trime. That is nice. He, he mentioned the three cent nickels, and I kind of, that's one of my specialties. I love those things too. And those are loaded with clashes. In fact, it's oh, hard yeah. to find. Oh, yeah. Out yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, a, lot, a lot of those older coins are fun to find the clashes on. Morgans are really common for clashes too. I guess mm -hmm. back then it was just kind of a common common thing well as soon as you you know you don't get a plant it doesn't get fed in there and those dies hit each other um yeah by the way does anybody know who uh who designed this coin was it long acre hmm. that's a good question is it a long acre or a uh, go Breck. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, I'll look it up. Yeah, Big Red. I know what you mean. Big Long Anchor. Um, big, big Red. The, uh, the, the coins back then, anything larger than a two cent piece, they were they were actually quite funny because yeah, they, long they, they, yeah. they had to have the exact amount in silver into the coin. So at the time it, it, that, that little five cent fish scale or whatever you want to call it, I think it was tiny, had exactly five cents in silver in it. Thank um, you, Ida. Thank yeah, you Ida. very much, Ida. So sweet. Appreciate it. You guys rock. Showing the love. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's going to be the first uh, coin that uh, chronologically that Longacre is credited with uh, designing. Thank you. You mean, you, you mean uh, what, one of his earliest uh, designs? Yeah, yeah, I think that, that must be his earliest one. Just I'm just kind of going by years there. It's, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Ida, this woman is not at a thousand subs yet, and I don't get it. So if you guys are not subscribed to Ida Herring, please do so. Subscribe to each other, support each other. Yeah. But Ida does a morning show every morning, Monday through Friday. I'm usually on there just because I I love my Ida Herring. Um, and it's a wonderful day to see way to start your day so check her out it's 1849 a, double eagle michael said it's a, it's a it's a fun show to get up and kind of enjoy your morning coffee and stuff with i know there's been some mornings where i've been a little slow at work or whatever i'll switch over and watch her for a little bit sometimes i've even come up and played around on panel with everybody i threw up uh ida's channel um, oh, chat. Thanks, so if you, yeah, go ahead and um, join on up. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll put together something nice uh, for her 1,000 sub. Heck yeah, Sean! Don't try to explain to Red about three cent nickel. I've done it for a year now. I've tried to explain it to him. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's cool. I, I've always thought the three cent nickel would be completely useless. <laughs> I tried paying for my Starbucks with a handful of them, and they didn't understand. <laughs> I, I even threw in an Ike dollar, and you know the the girl thought I was like passing fake coins. Give her a two dollar bill. 
Yeah, I, I don't want her head to explode all over my uh, <laughs> cappuccino. No, if you want to, you can try. You can explain the three cent. I'm sure there's other people in the chat that. You could definitely see some Long Acre doubling on this coin. If you don't, Kittle will. He'll explain it. Well, Jason, well done. That's yeah. a good looking Can I have coin. It's <laughs> a nice start. Yeah. Uh, yes, please explain. Please explain. <laughs> Yeah, I don't explain twice, Big Red. <laughs> I'll explain it to you tomorrow, Reb. We gotta, <laughs> we're doing a show here. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but it's, a, it's supposed to be a question and answer, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't take those kind of questions in chat, by the way. It's too much brain oh. power being used. So you know what? Why... Why people are here. Before we get to the next coin, can I talk about something real quick? Sure. Why I have a starburst in my mouth? Hang on. So we have, you guys know, Sean's talked about it in his videos and stuff. Our email is blowing up. We appreciate all you guys. We love reading your emails and answering your questions. Thanks, Michael. Oh my gosh, what is that? A little game controller. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we really, we love answering your questions. We love um, helping all of you out, but our email has been like blown up. So if you've noticed, if you're used to sending us questions and getting it, them answered in a couple days, if you'll notice, it, sometimes it's taking us like over a week because we can't keep up. So there's a couple, there's one in particular um, issue that we're going to have to cut. We get a lot of pictures of like, like one, one side of a coin and people saying, what's this worth? Those are filling up our email and I, we've kind of talked about it and it takes too much time to, to try to send you an email and tell you that that's not what we're here for. So we're just deleting those. If we get an, if you guys send us an email with a picture of a coin and simply ask us what it's worth, we're not going to reply to you. Because we want people who, because that doesn't show us that you are here to learn. It, it just, to, and I'm not tell, saying anything to you guys. I'm just saying we are getting a lot of emails like that. So when you send us an email, ask us a specific question about a coin. If you only want to know what something's worth, go to our website. We've got tons of resources, informational resources on our website. Um, LiveCoinQA.com is our website. We've got tons of educational resources there. You guys can go through that information and, and do some research and find out. But, you know, it, it just takes too much time. So, anyway, I just wanted to touch on that for a second. So, Thank and you, Paula. Be, be patient with us, you guys, right now, because we are we are trying to catch up on emails um so just be patient we have a facebook group coin q a you can you can join make sure you answer the membership questions but you can post questions there seven days a week 24 7. and you're probably going to get answered an answer on there a lot faster um so take advantage of that too <clears throat> so yeah the, the facebook page i can actually access that one with my phone. I don't yeah, I, I've been phone. doing quite a bit of uh, approvals and stuff lately. For and them. we have other people, other um, like experts and stuff on our Facebook group that'll answer your questions too. So it won't, it mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, necessarily, you're, you might not necessarily get an answer from one of us, but we have people in our group that are experts 
um, that will answer your questions too. So yeah, there's a lot of information out there. Even some of our newer collectors, you know, there are some easy, easy answers, and they'll give you an answer. So if we don't think it's the Absolutely. right one, we'll go, we'll go on there and chime in. But yeah. So. Anyway. And the, the big reason why we stay away from price is that there's no guarantee. The market is completely fluid on a daily basis. Yeah. What what has been sold for a hundred dollars can can sell for fifty, just like that, for no reason whatsoever. You know? So it, and, and we're going off pictures and you have to know the grade at least a pretty good idea of what the grade of a coin yeah. is. And I have it in picture, hand. it's just too hard for us to be real accurate. And so. and you know, the perfect person that could help kind of with his testi uh, testimonial is Michael Kittle. Yeah. I don't know if he's still here, but he'll tell he'll tell anyone anyone if you're just getting into the hobby and you're green and wet behind your ears, you are not going to succeed being in the sales. You're just yeah. not because there's the educational aspect of it that has to come first. You got to have a passion for it before you could go and branch off and turn it into maybe possibly being a dealer, oh, job. Being an online yeah. dealer, mm -hmm. you know, being a consultant, yeah. working for heritage auctions, working for the graders. You have a couple different ways to go with this, but you always have to keep in mind, there's a grassroots level to everything that we do. And then all these other things that could be, Add, you know, that could be a positive thing in your life, making money from the hobby and things like that all come in time, but you need to know all of the basics, you know, and you need to work your way up from there. This is not an overnight thing. Uh, I always tell people that this is not something that you can just pick up the ball and run with it. You got to have the skills. You got to have the education under your belt. You don't have that. You don't have nothing. The car won't move without the tires on it, yeah. the wheels. What is it that Ken used to always say? If you want to make a million dollars in this hobby, start out with two million. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's it's definitely a uh, get rich slow scheme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a hobby. It's a hobby. Lots of right. patience. Lots of hobby. patience. Have fun with it first, and then decide what yeah. you want to do. With you, it. you could yeah. certainly you could certainly make a living doing this. But for you ask anybody, it, it takes years to get to that point. Yeah. yeah. You have to develop it first. It all has to start somewhere. Yeah, I would I'm, say, you know, ha having $2 million in capital to get, to get yourself started would certainly help, you know. But not a lot of people have that hey. ability. And even today, for as long as I've been doing this, selling coins online has simply just been – a supplemental part to my living. It's not the whole thing of my living. It just it's a great little bonus at the end of the day. Vacation money or you know exactly college money. Yeah. Or whatever. You cherry you cherry pick a coin on, on eBay or a local coin shop, you know, and then you grade it, flip it. You know, Adam, you know, he he, he does it on occasion and he does really well on it. But he does he it takes time to get to where he's been, where he could recognize things like that and being able to, uh, you know, just right, Michael. Put, put, put all, put all the actions into, you know, some sort of plan where it's meaningful and you're not just all talk at that yep. point. Right. I'm yeah. just now to the point where I've learned what I can let go of, what I don't really care about, so I can start selling. I have never really yeah. sold before. Yeah, I've yeah. been talking about doing it for months, and I'm That's just why now I'm buying coins that I don't like. It gets <laughs> tough, though. You, you know, <laughs> you feel like God. I really want to keep this coin, but then you're like, well, I could sell it and you know move on to the next best thing. You know, so it's I it's tough. Shed, a, shed a little tear every time it goes in the mail. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Your new home. Anyway, yeah, nobody can ever know. There's there is always more to learn. I mean, I answering emails every day. I learn something because I usually have to research something for somebody. And you know, we don't we don't answer your emails typically um, if like 
if it's a true error or variety, typically we don't answer them just off the top of our head. We look stuff up for you guys. So, you know. Yeah. Anyway, that, I just wanted to touch on that. So I don't want, if you have sent us an email and it said, how much is this worth? And you didn't get a reply. It's because I garbage disposal did. <laughs> Yeah, th there are better resources to find valuation of your coin than coming to us. Yeah, for there sure. are a lot of online resources for sure. Yeah. There is yeah. so much information. Yeah. yeah. I can read this from Bob, 2002 S Mississippi quarter with die clashes. I have more than one of these. Should I leave them in the original cases or break them out and submit them for grading? Do you have an idea of the value of these? I have not found any info on this coin anywhere on the internet. I cannot watch your live show because of the commitments at those times, but I will watch the broadcast later. Photos added. Any info will be greatly appreciated. And thanks in advance. Cool, cool. I saw this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Oh, on a blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> this is probably the most wow. powerful clash I've seen on a on a proof before. on a proof. And he said he has five of them. Oh wow! Look at that under that ear. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's great. And just it, like I, that, I, it is clash night. On <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like he's pointing to something. Is it on the? Oh, it is. It's clashed on the yeah. reverse, too. There's a Look at curl? that. Hair oh, my God. Hair. That's the hair. That's Washington's hair. Yeah. That's bananas. Uh, that's awesome. On what I think is probably one of the most boring state quarters. I never liked that one, but man, that one's that's that just makes it a cool one. Yeah, it does. That's fantastic. Look even behind the head. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. That is cool. You gotta love it when Q and A or uh, uh, quality control goes on a uh, coffee break. <laughs> little gouge in the eye too there i see so if you have yeah. five of those if these were mine i would probably send two of them off i would yeah. um to annex and have them graded and see how they sell i mean if there if there's a lot of interest in them then you know you could think about doing the rest but these will sell without being good. And if they're still in the set, didn't he say they're still in the set? I think that's what it said, didn't it? Amanda, I don't know what the original email said. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it would be cool to have one in a set. Yep, it says they're still in the fits. Okay, all right. That's crazy. That's awesome, though. That's really good. Cool. You can even see some of the clashing in the hair. Yeah, in the hair. In the hair. Yeah. Yeah. It's this is probably the strongest proof quarter clash I've ever seen in my life. And I would say it's. I mean, it probably has some value. I mean, quarters are. Oh, this, will, are, this would have a oh, lot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this would sell well because the quality control is so much stronger on proofs versus yeah. business strikes. So, yes. In two thousand in two thousand nineteen, I sold a nineteen eighty four proof nickel for one hundred and ten dollars. So, yeah, we'll just put that into perspective. Yeah, they got a little value for sure. It, would you grade this in the original set or would you break it out? 
that's another question. He I'll, I'll be honest. I would, ra- I would rather break it out and isolate this coin because okay. if the other, for example, four coins in the set or seven, I think, well, it's got statehood quarters. Yeah, so it has right. four other state quarters and then the other ones. And they don't have anything on them. Yeah, isolate this coin and just what year read is this one as is. Uh, uh, this is now, Michael, I, I don't know if they would attribute uh, these type of clashes uh, on cherry pickers. I I know I've seen a few cherry um, uh, clashes uh, on various dates of coin that they have attributed. <laughs> All the yeah, Bugs, Bugs Bunny, Bunny yeah. the um, 1857 uh, Flying Eagles. Yeah. So they, they, they certainly have, you know, I, I don't know what how, what criteria they use to determine if these are, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. an amazing clash, though, and I would love to have that in my collection anytime. So. <laughs> Yeah, there is no listing. I mean, this, first of all, this, I would send. Those are fighting off. words. I would send I the photos off for. Um, I was about to say, Adam has some uh, sure. <laughs> counter argument to that, Michael. That's a, that's like his bread and butter. Although he, you know, the little birdie I've has kind of flown off, off of other yeah. things. Yeah, I've been branching off a little bit. So. Yeah. I would probably send these pictures off to JC. Uh, get it listed at least get it listed in mad die clashes it'll draw more attention to it too that could drive the value a little bit too so Mm -hmm. very nice watching back if you want to get a hold of us we can tell you how to how to go about doing that um and then whatever you decide to do keep us posted for sure. Would would this be a good one to maybe uh, consider posting over on uh, Joe's page just to kind of maybe dr- see if you can drum up some interest over there? Yeah, I'll actually, I can send it to Joe. Send the pictures to him and, uh, yeah. and see what, yeah, ask him what he thinks. I mean, if, yeah, all it, all it takes is getting some interest up. And you're, I mean, if you really get some interest up and somebody uh, puts it into one of the publications or whatever, then yeah, then, then it'll take off and do really well. You know what? I probably could just send it to Mike Diamond and see if he wanted to get a hold of him about it. Yeah, does he write for Coin World? Yeah. Or that's that's Ken Potter. No, Ken Potter does. Uh, Mike Diamond writes for uh Kaneka. Yeah. Kaneka. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by by the way, um yeah, I'm sure uh, some of you probably know Dr. Wiles is not accepting new submissions right now. Yeah. Oh, he's not? No, he he put a little uh blurb on his website. He's he suspended uh submissions. Now, see I sent five rpms just two weeks ago but i sent those to his counterpart that's helping him yeah so I, maybe he's still doing his stuff probably i bet but probably yeah it said on his website uh verbatim i have suspended my attribution services for the foreseeable future uh, so sad he's he's not been well either which is yeah not- he's he's getting along in the years uh he, he however he did post on his website that you could have your coins examined and attributed by the new Koneka attributors. Yeah. And he also put in a, um, <laughs> a, uh, a link as well on his website, okay. varietyvista.com. So, yeah. They have several people doing attributions now and they have different people doing different denominations and things like that. So, okay, yeah. cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So as you guys are aware of in chat, you know, as as people begin to kind of fall off the map of, you know, attribution wise, the hierarchy changes. And sometimes there's these lulls where we don't know who's doing what. And, you know, um, and that's that's kind of where we come in. I We, we kind of, you know, let you guys know who the. Uh, who the people you have to go to now. Um, 
That's just how it's it is. All, all these, wild all these contributors that we've that we've got to know, you know, they they're getting old. They they've passed on, you know. So. Now, Kaneka Wiles does have a thing um, posted, Seamus, for uh, us. Cincinnati. Go to Kaneka and you can see where, <laughs> where he. Uh... No, not not Wexler. It's Wiles. No, it's yeah, Doctor uh, Doctor James Wiles is. Uh, yeah. He's uh, <laughs> yeah, he's not doing any more submissions. I think uh, Jason does stuff for Wexler. Um, Although yeah, Wexler is getting a little bit old. His his, uh, his um his work is not flying out as quickly as some people want. Oh, did you okay? I well, I got you're talking about Wiles is said. not accepting submissions. Yeah, Wiles, yeah. Yeah, so Wiles. Okay. Yeah, that's why it. that's why I said okay. Wiles on okay. variety. Sorry, summer. I was a little confused. Oh, okay. You sent stuff to Wexler. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, if you guys aren't members of the ANA either, we highly recommend becoming members of the ANA, the American Numismatic Association. And it just so happens that Michael Kittle, who's there in chat, um, his coin club is offering dis a discounted membership until the end of the month. So it's, I believe it's $5 for the digital version. Uh, that includes the membership and the digital version to the magazine or $20 for the membership and the printed version of the magazine. I recommend getting the printed one, but, um, and that's like half off, like 20 bucks. It's normally like 40, I think. So for a year. So Michael, if you want to throw in where they can get a hold of you, if they are interested in that, um, it's through his, his coin club. So, um, go ahead and do that. There you go. Yep, normally 46. Yeah, so more than half off. Um, to the ANA, the membership to the ANA. So, if you collect coins, you should be a member to the ANA. Just saying. And then, and then you can also submit coins for grading to NGC with your ANA membership, um, and you don't have to join NGC separately. So, yeah. And there's all kinds of perks for like young numismatists and all kinds of things. So, check check it out. Money.org is their website. Um, Anyway, yeah, so who, um, I forgot who sent this, but if you want to email us back or we can email, I think we can, I'll follow up on it. Because, um, yeah, James Eubank said that uh, Mike Diamond did write the article for his coin in Coin World. So mm -hmm. he does have a little section in there that he writes for. So. There, <clears throat> there's Michael Kittle's uh, email address. He just put up mike at kittlecoins.com. So it's a, it's a great deal, you guys, and it's only to the end of the month, so take advantage of it. <laughs> anyway, so congratulations on this fantastic find. That's, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry, that was my little rant. <laughs> Hello, Sean, are you still there? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Hello. Do we have another coin? <laughs> is is it my turn, Amanda? Yep, that was my last one. Oh, okay. Cool. I will go ahead and switch over. Let me make sure oh. I'm showing the make sure I'm showing the right picture. I know. Mine, I think I mine's like a three year or something like that I did. So I don't need it, but it's a great deal. And let me make sure things in frame. Oh, perfect. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, read this one from Dodger uh, regarding a 2013 Fort McHenry quarters. Have a lot of different DDRs. There is a few of them. I found this roll searching. The windows and door as well as the roof all have doubling. Uh, this is WDDR number five from Wexler's. I sent some images of the incused lettering also. 
I believe this is machine doubling, but that R looks notched to me. The Starburst has machine doubling also. Thanks as always. Sincerely yours with love, Dodger 455. Okay. Since this is kind of a two-parter, I'm going to show the 005 stuff. So we got a little, little piece under there on the windows and doors. Uh, just so you can get a wide open view of kind of kind of where we're looking. We miss him too, Spike Head. He'll be back next month. And Christopher Rhodes should be back any time now. <clears throat> wink, wink, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There's a lot of machine doubling on those outer devices. It, it, it looks like a, looks like it might be a mix. Common incused machine doubling on those. Yeah. I don't know, man. Is this? I didn't look this one up. Is this a Wexler double die 005? Yeah, it's it's double zero five. I, I okay. uh, double check the uh, attribution. Oh, thank you. All right, so then I'll, we'll skip on to the incused lettering. And what do we know about double doubling on incused lettering? People really got tripped up with these. I got mm -hmm. caught up in a couple of these myself. True um, doubling on incused letters will make the device make the letter skinny. Skinny because they're raised on the die. Even though this sometimes these photos can be a little bit deceptive by incused, the letters are punched in mm -hmm. as opposed to them being in relief where they. Uh, where they are, where they're raised. Yeah. Um, see a lot of the, we got a lot of questions, you know, even on the early days with the uh, Q and A when I was just a viewer where people were sending these in thinking that they had a double die. And I had, I, I remember seeing a lot of them where it almost looked like they're quadrupled. Mm -hmm. um, this one almost looks like it's tripled, but it's just machine doubling. Yeah, these are quite common, and like Jeff had mentioned, the, this jukes out a lot of collectors. Yeah. Across all exactly, the from beginners to I, to more advanced collectors. Exactly. I was I was fairly seasoned at the time too. I mean, I kind of knew what to look for for the most part, but I did not know about doubling on in on in cues, uh lettering at that point. Um, pretty excited when I got my first lull it was like that but I remember people were trying to sell uh, the um, second uh, W that came at West Point the American Memorial um, there were a lot of those that had um, doubling on the NQ's letter and they were trying to really stack the variety on top of uh, having a West Point coin and um, they were really trying to make maximum profit on those things but no it was just it is just good old fashioned incused mm. machine doubling. Wow. But that's nice there. That always look at those little windows and doors and stuff. You you, you always find stuff. Yep. Um, yep. Not always, but I mean that's where you're gonna find stuff a lot of times. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind also the times that we're living in, uh, where a lot of these coins are produced from rather technical technology technologically advanced methods yeah that was a mouthful um so you know having doubling on these much newer coins where you have like crazy notching and you know splitting and all that stuff you just don't see those anymore 
I think I think one of the more uh, you know radical versions of like a class nine doubling that we see on much newer coins. You know, you'd have to go back to 2015 Lincolns, I would say. Um, you know, to to really see anything that's pretty nice and dramatic. Yeah. In addition to um, uh, a lot of coins from the 2000s. The 2009D Washington DC quarter with the uh, was the FS801 is pretty nice too, but that's that's a really big outlier. Yeah, that's a big ex- big exception to the rule. Yeah, so the, this the single squeeze press <clears throat> era of of coinage, you know, kind of cranks out some rather underwhelming type of double dies. Yeah. Interesting stuff, but not not you know a seventy two fs fs one hundred one you know. Um, yeah, um, jo- Joey. Unfortunately, they do sell, um, and so it's going to depend on who you talk to. If you talk to me, I'm going to tell you this is machine doubling is a form of damage. Um, and if you're buying them, then you're buying a damaged coin. Some people don't agree with that. Some people say it's actually an error. Um, these uh, these Paula will always have its fringe audience, kind of yeah. like the people that actually pay 10, 20, 30 bucks for a poor man's 55. You yeah. Know? Well, yeah, that one too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why? You know, it's, yeah, it's and, not, it's not my, a recognized error or variety. No, so, no. why are people buying and paying the kind of money for these coins? And yeah. it's real simple. You have some outside fringe interest in these coins. So you have a completely mm-hmm. different group of people that collect the eclectic and unusual stuff. And that's why that they, you know, they do so. Well, particularly on these state quarters, um, my feeling is that why would you buy one when every other one you look at is going to have infused machine doubling? So find one yourself. <laughs> well, not, a lot, not a lot of people really, really take the yeah. time to search through them. If you looked at listings on eBay, yeah. you know, for as many of these coins that have been produced, you'd figure you'd see hundreds, if not thousands of listings for these coins. But when you go into the error section on eBay, you're lucky to find maybe ten or less. You know, so just that's just again it, um, with as much as the education allows on on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. There's still a lot of people that haven't really touched on that. So now that the 69s down on the on the Lincoln cent. I could see somebody because there are some like really extreme examples of that. And I could see somebody going, you know, I kind of think that's cool. I might pay a couple bucks for that. Well, um, Paula, there, there was an example of extreme MD on the 69S. Mm-hmm. And in the listing, it said machine doubling. That sold about a year and a half ago for over a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You remember, you remember that, Adam? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we were. Oh, we were, <laughs> oh, we were, we were, we were getting hot. Yeah, <laughs> in our private yeah. chat, and we were really getting upset. And that person didn't, you know. I mean, they listed it as what it was. If somebody has, they if, look. If somebody yeah. has a thousand dollars to spend on a machine doubling, double Lincoln cent, they have too much money. <laughs> maybe they just hit the lottery or something. Something I don't know. Right. Maybe it was, it, maybe it was the person's grandma. <laughs> if, yeah, if the seller was misrepresenting it, uh, I mean, you probably, I mean, it, we, we there would have been videos made. People, a lot of people really would have been calling out that individual, but uh, really, like, you know. they were honest. You, mm-hmm. you, exactly. You can't really fault somebody for that if they're honest like that. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. one thing I did want to cover with this particular issue here is you um if you find these um you know in your pocket change or whatever the places to look are the um, these little doors and windows right here def, you know the center um and we saw some up there in the uh, middle of the um of the uh, the explosion in the sky 
but also here the stripes over here in the flag don't skip that area as well you usually see there's several um of the varieties that have that there pay close attention to this issue there are some very nice um ones that are fun to find yeah i think the ddr number six and seven i have the doubling on the flag yeah yeah, when I um, when I audited the information from the submitter, I actually saw the other couple of that's on there. Oh, I agree, Tia. In fact, Sean and I were talking about that before we even went live. You should see some of the stuff I have in my collection. Like people would think I was nuts. Um, absolutely, collect what you love, um, but. As long as, you know, we're, what we're here to do is to inform you that machine doubling is not a doubled die and should not be priced as such, you know, I mean, so that's, you know, that's what we're here for. Um, and if you want to sell your machine doubled coins, as long as you're representing them as what they are. Right. You know, there's no fraud in that, but people need to be informed of what they're buying. But they see machine doubled, and a lot of people don't even know that there's a difference between machine doubling and true hub doubling. You know, so they just see the word doubled, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, it's a double." <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I have I have a lot of weird stuff in my collection. <laughs> Ready for the next one? Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and read this one uh, from Thomas K. Hi, Sean. I found this coin while roll hunting. I actually found quite a few of them. Some have more rotation and some a little less than this one. As you can see, it was a hot selling item selling for $88. Starting bid was $19. Um, should I slab any of these since they are in a brilliant uncirculated condition? Should I list them all while the market is hot or leak them slowly? I am a novice. I am describing my, am I describing my coin um, correctly? Why do I feel like we looked at this already? Did we? It was Did we look at this last week? No, we looked at a different coin. Oh. That, had, that had a pretty tremendous road. Ro this is a brand new 2021. It's same same person though. It's it's now looking at you, Paula. I know. Don't look at me. Same person though, right? Found had a bunch of the rotated dies. I don't know. Could be. I forgot yeah. the name of the the person before that that submitted. Yeah, that's the same one. No, no, this is different. Shot. I think Sean had a bit. This was in one of the one of Sean's videos. This is the same one, right, Sean? Yeah, yeah. This is the yeah. one I talked about a few days ago. Maybe that's where that's the deja vu is coming. From. Yeah, because I, I was talking about submitting to our email and just kind of oh, doubling okay. down on you know our expectations of <laughs> of the type of images you should you should send and the, you know how many emails you should send and all that great oh, stuff. Okay. So I use oh that's where that's I where. use Thomas's. Mm -hmm listing because he had it on ebay as as a sampler for that video that's where i saw it i'm you know yeah. I'm, look i get us mixed up all the time and, and thank and thank you for being a viewer i am a viewer <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a stalker a blue ridge silverhound stalker not only am i a viewer i'm the president <laughs> one one thing i didn't find because i had to pull the photos from ebay um what i one thing i would have loved to have seen on this and then we've seen it with some of the other rotated um in the mirror is, is kind of a mirror shot so that you can see like the obverse while you're showing the mirror shot of the reverse so you can really get a sense of i mean it is indeed the same coin. <laughs> um that would be if i was marketing one of these that's kind of how i would want to do that just so that the, the the buyer has absolutely zero question that they're looking well, at. Well, the... I remember in Sean's video, he said having it in a slab would be great for a buyer because then they would be able to absolutely tell yeah. the rotation. See, I did watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if you think about it, it's it's 
a great idea. Um, even if you did just send it to Annex, just having the ability to photograph the slab upright and then upside down on the you know other picture, like you're doing a um, a coin turn on it, only in the slab, you're going to see the rotation a lot better. Plus, it'll, it'll be no noted on the slab as well if you uh, paid for the error attribution. Right. Yeah. <laughs> great, con great condition. You can yeah. get some of these. <laughs> We're not, we are not in any way promoting this or sponsored by Quick Slab or anything. Quick Slab, you should email us Quick Slab. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but if you don't have the money to send it in, you could, this would help too. Quick Slab, send us an email. Just saying. All right. <laughs> We get actually we do get a ton of emails from different people wanting to like advertise and sponsor. I usually delete them. I don't know if I'm supposed to, Sean. <laughs> yeah, we don't have paid placement. We 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 have to uh no, we are not no. No. Would be nice though. We are we are unsponsored. Michael Kittle should sponsor us. Just saying. Well, I'm sitting here eating my noodles. Sorry. <laughs> Put the coin back up, Paula. There we go. All right. I'm going to move on to this one. Congratulations on the sale on that one. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's about a 45 degree turn uh, mm -hmm. clockwise. I can All right, it. this one's I'm from hoping. BJ. Hi again. I have two half dollars, an 83p and a 77p, and I think this are missing the FG on both coins. Thank you for looking at them. Thank you for submitting them. So these photos aren't going to help us. <laughs> not right. No, they're, they're not the best photos, but I, I will say that the close-ups that wow. BJ provided more than tell exactly what we need to know on this. Right. I'm trying yeah. to show which one is which. It's They're not labeled, so it's hard to tell which reverse, which close-up belongs to uh, which coin. But I'm pretty sure this is our 77. Yeah, that's what BJ said. The 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 two um, the two offers reverse photos and then the close up. They're all batched in in one particular year, so this is the seventy seven, and the next two coins should be for the eighty three. That's right. not in cherry pickers, correct? Seventy seven. I don't yeah. think the seventy seven is the oh. eighty three is correct. Is. No, the eighty two is in the oh, cherry that's pickers. Right. 82 not eighty three. Right. Both of these are unattributed. As wow, of okay. One thing to watch out for, uh, you guys, though, when you're looking for these is these have been known to be altered. People will take. Whatever they can, I don't even know what they would use. What would they use? A Dremel or something and polish that the initials away. So you have to look like in between the leg and the tail feather. And I like to look at the rest of the coin and, and the surfaces. Mm -hmm. And if that area, if the surface is different in that one area as opposed to the rest of the coin, it could be altered. I like to see this one kind of rolled around in the light sure. just a little bit, get a different um, reflection or a different, just, just a different angle in the lighting to tell if indeed, like this looks like that's a head on shot. Sometimes yeah. if it's turned slightly diagonally to the light, you can see more of a, like a silhouette or whatever of the, uh, what's left of the uh, initial. Yeah, really deteriorated, Joey. You're right. And you can tell, like, how that's kind of like rippled and stuff. I just tell that right here, like the dye, right just there. you just tell it's so yeah deteriorated, and <laughs> so wouldn't surprise me that it is missing on there. All 
All right. Y'all know I'm going to take a really quick break if y'all want to talk amongst yourself. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi. Hi, Eric. Did Sean leave us again? Did no, I'm me? here. I'm stuffing my face, however. You don't want to see that. It's not <laughs> a pretty too. sight. Look at what I'm eating. What is that? Ramen? Ew, is, that, is that top ramen or bottom ramen? It's delicious. I even put some sriracha sauce in there. The sriracha? Is that how you say it? Sriracha. Burning my sriracha. mouth right now. It's so good, though. Those are so good. Thanks so much. I'm Claire's MD and DD being a newbie. So, Marcy, one of the most difficult things to learn for new variety collectors looking for double dyes is being able to tell the difference between machine doubling, dye deterioration doubling, and true hub doubling. It is even experienced collectors get tripped up sometimes. And it, and it looks different sometimes on different denominations. Yep. So it is a it is a struggle sometimes. I've sent some to Wexler. He sent them back and said dye deterioration doubling. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very it can throw you for a loop sometimes if you're not careful. Yeah. Is it demoralizing when you get it back? You're like, shoot, I should have seen that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But if right. I get like it one happens. or two or something out of it, I guess it's worth it. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody is wrong sometimes. You know. You, you know what used to trip me up, um, and it, it, you know, looking for um, looking through like seventy two Lincolns, is that master die yeah, double yeah. will catch yeah. you every single yeah. time. I'm like, man, that that's got to be something. And I and always go look at that S because that's where you can look that little gouge out of the S and uh, trust. That's where Chuck says that you should look. And if yeah. it's got that little mark, then it's the master die doubling. Or oh, okay. Well, the yeah, there you go. The, in, uh, the I N of N. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's like got like a stick on top of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Those 72s are tough. 60, 60 small date. The six and the nine. Mm -hmm. That used to get me. Yeah, they, and they still do. 60 does still get me. That's yeah. one they I hate. I hate the 1960. You know, yeah. it's the, uh, what's the other one? Um, small date, large date. 82? 74. No, se um, no 70. Yes. And that one I finally figured out. You know, yeah. with the nine that kind of has that notch and it points to the, you know. Yeah, it's it's got a tighter curl that'll point yeah. directly to the seven, or, or it'll point due east if the you're looking at the coin. You know, the seven in the large state has a notch in it. Uh, has a. That's correct. Yeah. Has a thing in it, and also Liberty is weak in the small date. Now, Chuck did say that's not, not always, always the case. Yeah. So, not always, but most of the time, it's a pretty good. I mean, you know, the one, the, the one variety that's tripped me up over the years, even to this day, and I seem to be li like a little bit unsure. And it's probably the reason why you would have like a 30X magnifier are the um, 81S proof with the two different mint mark varieties. Oh, the type yeah. one, type two. Yeah. Man, they 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 fool me a lot. Mm -hmm. I had to kind of set up like my own like little primer and study session for those. Um well, those are the, so hard. The bottom of the S on one of them is kind of like yeah, like that. And then and like paddled or whatever, straight kind of. And then as opposed to being a complete, you know, I right. I don't know words. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it's that thing instead of this thing. And then the thing in the deal. Thing. You know, you know, the thing. Yeah. And I and I, I know I've seen people sell full proof set, nineteen eighty one type two. Well, that's what you want. 
that's where the value is is the and all you know all with, the and they're and they'll post like a kind of a far out picture of the mint mark or whatever you have yeah, no yeah. no way with those photos they got to be up close yeah be careful sean, sean took off we kicked him out he's 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 feeding his face he's eating he's, he doesn't eat on camera like I do. Is that that ruffling I hear, I'm hearing? Is that what yeah, that do you is? hear that? Do you, do, you hear, do you hear the heavy breathing as I'm hoovering it into my gut? <laughs> I know. Well, it's dinner time for me and Sean when we come on. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't eat too late. Like, if I go to bed with a full stomach, mm -hmm. I have a hard time sleeping. Go ahead, Adam. This one's got your name written on it. All here. right. Hey, it's Adam. I thought. I uh, I thought we could share this coin on Monday night show. It's a nice cherry pick from the coin show this weekend I visited. Uh, 1934D with the FS101 DDO, Ragged Fisher on the rim, and a reverse lamination. Joe Sharp, you behave yourself in there, mister. Don't make me come over there and spank you. See, is Joe getting rowdy? He is. He's <laughs> flirting. <laughs> get flirty that is wonderful yes so i uh was going through uh the dealer that i was the table i was at they were actually they sold their coin shop so they were trying to get rid of their inventory so they were selling stuff pretty pretty cheap and this one was in there for like 13 dollars so i saw it i was like this is the ddo and then i saw the the, the rim, and I was like, oh my God, so this has got an air and a DDO. And then I looked on the reverse, it's got a lamination. So I was like, well, this is kind of a really nice coin for $13. I'll scoop that up any day. You want to explain, tell them what that is? So that's a right. ragged yeah. clip, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I guess they call it a ragged fissure. You know, so same, same. Yeah, yeah it's the same difference. It, it's an end, end of strip, end of strip byproduct. So mm -hmm. this is the leftover crap at the end of the strip. Yeah, and then it just so happened they punched the uh, the FS listed TDO on this on this uh, planchet. Lucky for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See those? See that nine and that three? Those tails. That's class six hub doubling. Paddle, paddle. Yeah. And yeah, then, we've, uh, we've seen that in a few different dates. The yeah, 40, 40, 40, 40, 43, 43, 43 uh, also. 43, 43 Philly. Yeah. yeah. There, there's a few with the, the big fat tails on them. 45. I, I like them. I have one like this, but, you know, it's not nearly as personable as yours, Adam. This one I plan on mm -hmm. sending in and keeping for my own collection because mm -hmm. it's a cool one. And it's got the look at the uh, angle at the bottom of the four and the one. It's got the angle at the dangle. And then yeah. if you look at the back, it's got a lamination. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Crazy. Coin Dragon said, "Nice planchetti." <laughs> He's oh, teasing man. me. It's a planchard. He woke the dragon up with this one. Quit making fun of the planchard. So I found two of these at the same show, different tables. So one was a clean coin. That's the one Paula was, you know, upset I'm about. I'm sorry. I know. I. But um, it's that it's selling. I put it up on one of the Facebook groups, and it's it's moving. So that's good. Um, All right. And this I one I decided to keep because it's the one that's not been played with. It doesn't look like to me anyway. Planchard. I I like it. It's a nice higher yeah. grade. It's got some of that mint red in the protected yeah. areas of yeah. the coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it gives off no indication that it's been played around with. I I think you did a phenomenal job getting this one. Yeah. And then I found uh, 1910 SFS 501 at the same <laughs> table. And then I found two 1911 S's, FS 502, or 501. Oh. Yeah, I saw those. Dude. 
been trying no, to find one of those. Do you have that full picture in the no. reverse of that one? The uh, the ten. I don't think I sent it in. Did I send it in? Okay, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna just try to find it to see the full reverse. Yeah. Planchard, etc. Looks, yeah, it's, looks slightly woody. I am coin dog. But it was uh, it was a great show. A lot of varieties out there. Um, busy show. Shows are really crazy right now. If you go to them, they're just so busy. That's good. You know, it's good for the hobby. I have to live vicariously for you guys. <laughs> the one coin show I wanted to go to in California. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't about to go down there and, you know, whatever. I would have been spending all my money on hotel and food and guns. <laughs> I think that we, we, we don't have guns in California. It's all safe. Right. I no, plan on going to the St. Charles show next month. They got one in St. Charles, so I'm going to go to that one. You don't have any police there either, Sean. What happened? <laughs> nothing. We have nothing here. Nothing. We, hey, we, we have four dollar and fifty cent gas. If anyone's interested in that, simulations. You should go. It's a lot of fun. Stations. <laughs> charging stations and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could hook up my vehicle to a Tesla charging station. It's only six bucks. Right. And the best charge. tables to sit at it and sit down at are the ones that have like the boxes that you can go through. Yeah. Because some of the some of the shows you go to, like some of the tables, they'll have everything in the case and you have to ask them to look at it and then they stand yeah. over you and then if you don't buy it then they have to put it back and it just kind of feels a little like eh, I don't wanna take up your time kind of thing. So yeah. So I really try to avoid those tables unless they have like a crap ton of Franklins and I can just <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> hey, can have... I look at this row. <laughs> just... Sometimes they'll have albums you can go through too. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not crazy about those because I always feel weird pulling the coins out of the, you know, flips out of the albums. I'd rather yeah. go through the boxes. I'd rather hey, go of, the it's box. kind of funny that you say that because I was – at a t table and the dealer i guess he specializes in washington quarters so i was going through his quarters in his book and i was looking at every coin that i thought had a variety and he goes you'll be hard pressed to find a variety in there i'm a specialist in washington quarters mm -hmm. well i took it as a challenge and i kept looking and i found a 1947s fs 502 with the mm -hmm. rpm and i said i bought it i didn't tell him and I was like, okay, I'll take this one and I'll send it to Ian and it's worth a couple hundred dollars. Thanks. Have a nice day. And left it at that. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. Yeah. The thing is, though, if you're going to go to a table and spend a bunch of time looking through a deal, buy stuff. Going, buy, buy something. something. That's right. Yes. Buy something. Yes. Um, that's just polite. You know, and never rub it in his face if you do cherry pick yeah exactly don't do that just walk just thank you sir and walk away or ma'am yeah away. yeah and you don't want to pull in the boxes then send your all your friends pictures <laughs> <laughs> that's that's when to that's when to brag <laughs> yeah i always like the guy who's got the the monster boxes or the the open monster boxes full of the um um like the mixed stuff and actually yeah. i did that and i found a bunch of like peripheral toner lincolns that were all gems yeah and i bought them all i sat there i probably cherry picked over 30 or 40 of them out of the box right. bought them because that was our like, last email that was our last yeah because we have a giveaway to do don't we Oh, we got a couple. I'm gonna do one, and then Sean's gonna do one. No, we'll, we'll just do it all. Wait, what are you giving away? Well, I was gonna give away one of my magnifiers. Okay. Well, we'll add that all in one one giveaway, and then oh. we'll let whoever choose. 
whatever. Oh, so, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll What's the question this week? You're right, High Pockets. I don't yeah, think we'll, 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 we'll post our uh, our cherry pick on Facebook and then tag the dealer we bought it from. <laughs> I don't know that Sean's thought that far ahead yet, Adam. No, I did not think that far ahead. So. I knew it. I knew it. Did we stump Blue Ridge? <laughs> stump the Blue Ridge. Hey, guy. How are you, honey? How are you feeling? Stump the Blue Ridge. Guess what I got? We got holographic point Q and A stickers. It's going to be going out with every contest win. Mm. All right, let me find some. Since we were on the topic of designers of coins, let's go ahead and find one here, and then that'll be our question for the week. Get out your red books if you have them. Um, <laughs> put your chat, everybody, put your chat on live chat. Know that you you get one get. Don't retract your answer. Just guess one time. One guess, and it's how we see the chat first. Awesome. It might look different on your end. I need one. All right. I, one got good one. I, got, I got probably a nice, challenging trivia question for you guys. Email me, Joe. It's going to be... Um, the reverse designer. Don't answer yet. Wait till you see go and chat. I'm going. I'm going to say say the question. Give Paula a second to type in go, and then everybody post. I need the name of the person who designed the reverse of the Hawaii National Park quarter. And it's not come on a while you. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the answer. <clears throat> this is a good one because it'll give people the opportunity to do some research. So far, nobody's typing anything. A, a level playing field of sorts. <laughs> Gotta look that one up, man. Good luck. Slow down. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, we got a winner. We got one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sally Field. <laughs> oh, you guys are terrible. Wow. Terrible. Why? Terrible. <laughs> Shannon, I'm going to politely remove that message. <laughs> Please do. While you're at while you're at it, put him in timeout. With, with a no. dots cap on. Shame on you. Corner. I know. I well, he just said it because I what I said, but you can't put me in time out. <laughs> Nobody just baby in the corner. All right, we we do have a winner. <laughs> okay. It took it, it took a hot minute. I got a sharp eye for coins with Charles Vickers. That's what I see too. As the gentleman that won. That's what I see too. <laughs> Naughty boy won it. Brings home the bacon. There you go. You get your sticker now, Joe. You don't have to. You don't have to bug me. <laughs> Congratulations. <coughs> well, I know he doesn't need a loop, you guys. So he's, he's got know. plenty. All right. So yeah. so here's here's your options. We we have a copy, or we have a few copies left of the Strike It Rich with Pocket Change book. So that's an option. Or we have the uh, 41 to 47 Dansko, Liberty Walking Halves album. This is new old stock, so it's in perfect shape. And then we have a beginner's quarter kit by Whitman. So it's got trifold folder, some... Uh, National Park quarters, lenses, and two by twos, and all sorts of other great paraphernalia. What do you want, Joe? Speak up. <sighs> and of course, <laughs> we have a couple loops. We have a seven. Forty-one to forty-seven Dansko. It says the Dansko. You got Dansko. it, man. 
Adam, go ahead, did you go want ahead to give that e Email us your information. Uh -huh. What'd you say, Paula? Do you want to give that loop away separately? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, what, one of yours? You want to do that? Yeah, that's oh, fine. That's, okay. Because he has to ship it separate anyway, Sean. Yeah, so yeah. Might as well just do a separate one. But you have to think of the question. Another question, huh? Ooh. And no, you can't win that. A double question. giveaway for tonight. Well, Two. which works because we got our uh, bye week next week. Oh, yeah. let me look here. What is in your hand, Paula? And what then I, oh, my lip gloss. Oh, <laughs> hey, that, that, that's wand, a pretty good trivia question. Wand. What is in Paula's hand? What is it? <laughs> what, what I'll give you. A, I'll give you a hint. It's worth two in the bush. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Adam, do you don't have any more stickers, huh? No, I don't. I gave them away all. So all whoever time. wins your giveaway, I'll send. Amy, if you're there, me and Sean have been bad. We haven't, okay. sent, we haven't sent your giveaway yet. <laughs> Sorry, Amy. We'll get it in the mail. We'll get it in the mail. <laughs> Sorry, Amy. Yeah, I, I I was actually splitting apart the uh, two by two holders for for your. I uh, have to send Sean a bunch of them. Yeah, I'll get it out tomorrow. Um, let's do. Uh, hmm. I didn't think you'd be mad, Amy, but it, it's funny because Sean goes, um, Paula, I I didn't, I haven't shipped Amy's giveaway yet. He said, did you send her sticker? No. <laughs> but we were both bad this week. <laughs> we're doubly bad. We're doubly bad. Let's do, uh, who wants to type the go? You gonna I'll, type it? Go. I'll type go. Okay. All right. Okay, one guess. <clears throat> You're really going to like this loop. Okay, so what is the mintage of the 1952 proof Franklin half dollar? Go. I'm willing to bet it'll be the same as the 52 proof Washington quarter. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Rumor has it. Um, S8, 600, no. <laughs> Nothing yet. Keep guessing. Does anybody not have a red book? Oh, I see one. Oh, I see one too. I see one. Okay. Who's you first on your guys' you stat? Okay. I see. Danny. 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 That's who I got. Yeah, Amy. Yeah. See, Amy for all the marbles. Where's Amy, you said? Yes. Or Danny. Should be Danny. Danny. Do you see Danny? Yeah. Who yeah. knows what you see? Eighty-one thousand nine eighty. Yeah. Oh, is that the right one? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's the proof. Yeah, Danny Gray, right? Yep. Yeah. Danny yeah. Gray, congratulations! So, send us an email. I'm gonna. Can you guys put it in my folder when he sends it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. See it pop up. Send us an email to this email address. Well, I didn't even put type it in there. What am I typing? Where did I type that? Or, or if you see the email, Danny, it's right above Paula's head. Oh, right there. The screen. Send us but an you, email there. Yeah, she'll, and, she'll type it in for you. Yeah. And um, give us your YouTube name. If it's different than your real name, give us your real name too. Your shipping ad address and just put Adam's giveaway. Make okay. it nice and obnoxious so it steps out so it you know, so it stands out. Congratulations. We have look at we have everybody is so nice. Everybody just congratulating you guys. Everybody Very nice. So nice. Congratulations. I don't think we've had any poor any anybody give us any hard time or anything. Everybody's so great. 
That's been a good night. Yeah. Yeah, Thank more, you, more giveaways to come. So yeah. being nice ha has its privileges. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, you guys, and choosing us to spend your Mondays with. There's lots of lots of people streaming on Mondays, and we just feel honored that you choose us every Monday. So absolutely. Make sure you hit so it's the It's not light. like there was an NFL football game on tonight or anything, right? I'm so mad at the NFL right now. I could spit. Um, send delicious. I got them on eBay. The company is called Fancy. F A. Here it is. No, mine That's mine the either. brand. So if you search it in eBay, you might you should be able to pull it up. Yeah, mine doesn't have a name on it. Some of them don't. Um, I might be able to find the link and send it to her. Let me see. Give me a second. I'll get it. Hey Danny, thank thank you, sir, for ordering uh ordering a shirt. Appreciate it. Good. Make us busy. But well, give us a couple weeks because we really we have a lot of emails and we're some of them are take longer to research and answer and stuff. So we're trying really hard to get caught up. So if you guys could try to use the Facebook group if you have Facebook. Um, join, make sure you answer all the questions. There's like three questions and you have to agree to the rules. That's it. There's no right or wrong answers in the questions. You know, well, I guess there could be wrong answers, but, um, but make sure you agree, agree and you answer the questions or you won't, you won't be accepted. And yes, yeah, keep in mind, you, you'll get your answers quicker on Facebook. <laughs> you will a lot quicker. Yeah. A lot quicker. Um, Michael Eugene, so we'll put in, um, thank you for asking. There's our, our website address, livecoinqa.com, and there's a shop in there. And we're, yeah, keep an eye on that shop too, because we can do other things that we're, that might be coming up on that. So keep an eye on the shop. We'll announce it, but anyway. Um, yeah, you can go there and order a shirt. And I appreciate it, you guys, every bit of that money, your super chats, um, the t-shirts, everything goes right to our channel and our website and all back to you guys. So I'm trying to figure out how to share a eBay listing. I'll, I can never find the share button on it. Um, Craig, I think it says, it says shop. I think there's a, a tab that says shop. And our website's still a work in progress, you guys. So, um, but there's great resources on the resource page and everything. So, hey Adam, do you see that message from Mac McBride? Ah, uh -uh. no. He, he wants he wants to send you a message directly. Okay. You, you, yeah, you can. Um, he, he can send it to our email, and we'll yeah. just, I'll just put it in your folder. We all have our own folders, so whoever sees it, you guys, um, just stick it in Adam's folder. That might have Here's been a, I heard I've got a I've got a link for one of the magnifiers. Oh, you do you? Okay, I'm yeah. trying. Yeah, I'm on here it. trying to figure it out. Like I'm like, where the hell oh, is you, the stupid share you button? Copy, you just copy the URL. That's all I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have lots of knowledgeable people and lots of good people in our Facebook group. We are really, really picky. Um, we're very picky about who we let in and we don't put up with shenanigans. We don't put up with rude people, nothing like that. They get booted right away. So if you ever have a problem in the Facebook group with anybody in there being rude to you or anything, you message an admin or a moderator and we will take care of it because we don't put up with that stuff. We want our group to be a reflection of this show. And so it's really important to us. We don't put up with people giving wrong answers. So if you go into the Facebook group and you don't know the answer, please don't answer. <laughs> you can try, but just say this is a guess. <laughs> that's, and that's usually okay. That's fair enough to show. Yeah. I mean, we like to see showing that you're trying to learn and everything. So, but it's important to let the person who posted the question know that, you know, 
Yeah. And the important thing <laughs> is you are in a group, you're safe. Yeah. You know, there's not any one person that's like above other people. I mean, we're, we're all a team. We're all, you know, each one of us yeah. that you see on panel, we have our strengths yeah. in the hobby. So if one person doesn't know something, maybe someone else does. Yeah. Um, plus we have our, our finger on the pulse of any relevant attributor out there, you know, from Joe Cronin to Mike Diamond Ken Potter, Rick Snow, you you need any of these guys? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get you, you know. Yeah. Paired up. Right. And and no no selling on the page and no uh -huh. fishing for selling or any of that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just that's not there's plenty of other pages where you can go buy and sell on. We just don't want to get into that. <laughs> Yeah, we we all of us love this hobby, and and that's why we do what we do. Um, we want you guys to become the best collectors that you can, mm -hmm. no matter how you decide to collect, whether it's what you want to collect or if you want to become a good seller eventually someday, be a dealer someday. We want you to be the best at it that you can be. So we want to help you. That's all I got to say. And that's all I got to say about that. Is that right, Private Pile? What do you say? Private, oh, um, was that me? <laughs> that was Forrest Gump. Was it that bad? <laughs> no, that, that, no, that yeah, wasn't Forrest Gump. That was uh, Full Metal Jacket. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was Forrest Gump. Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> Paula's like, great, now I'm going to have to watch that movie. I don't watch those kind of movies. They trigger me. Yeah, the only interesting part of the movie is the first half of it. The second half is like a war movie. So it's either you love it or you hate it. So Yeah, I can't do the war. Even yeah. for Scump, I have to fast forward through certain parts. I get triggered. You I get triggered? Nightmares. nightmares for days. Can't Tr triggered happy, right? Triggered happy. <laughs> Forrest Gump, Full Metal Jacket is crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, do, do it. Do it. I know. I should do a mashup. I didn't watch Walking Dead last night, so I need to go. Is that Joe with with my wants eBay to link? Reach out to me. That's your eBay link, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Michael wanted to know what it was. I don't have a lot of coins on there right now. I I did have some. I have mostly sports cards and other various collectibles. I sold a bunch of my stuff. What did you yeah. do, Craig? I don't know. Are you listening? I'm trying to sell your... my sofa on there right now. <clears throat> do I cook? Yeah, Craig. Didn't you see the wonderful gourmet dinner I made tonight? Yeah, cook. Of course I do. What? Wait, cook for myself. DiGiorno's has a new mac and cheese pizza that I'm going to try. Adam. <laughs> hey, I. Uh... Mac and cheese is some good stuff. Mac and cheese pizza. Yeah. Mm. I am all over that. That, I have to admit, if you ever go to Chicago, go get that mac and cheese pizza. Well, I probably won't ever go to Chicago, but I can go get a DiGiorno. <laughs> it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Uh, not anyway, I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> I think everybody's ready to get out of here. They, they've been slowly trickling away. I know. I'm done. We so are. Thumbs up, you guys, before you leave. And make sure you're subscribed and you click the bell. Every once in a while, something special pops and up. And then next the week's bye week, correct? Next week's a bye week. Okay. Yeah. So two weeks. Yeah. So we'll see you the day. Was it November 1st? Is that right? Something like that. Yeah. Ooh. November 1st will be our next day back. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Yeah, because Halloween's on Sunday. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. All right. Oh, Amy, thanks, honey. And we'll get this out. To, we'll get these out to you. I'll throw in an extra magnet sticker for you. Magnet sticker? You have those? Yeah. I have magnets, too. Oh. Not, this, not of this, just as a regular Q&A without the stamp. Oh, they're not all holographic out? <laughs> yeah. Because I like they're that. Boring. I like they're that boring. They're boring, but they're magnets. 
All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and do it for another live coin Q and a show. I want to thank you guys for, uh, hanging in tough with us, all 67 of you. Um, you yeah, we'll see, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Come join us on uh, the good old Facebook. Um, we'd love to see you there. Tell so, your friends if you like what you see here and you tell, your, tell your friends, questions. your estranged lovers, people Send like them that. Our way. Send them our way. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good evening. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.